Sabimbawazi, no which way to an enemy regender go to Avarira, Pono regender Torosh. I'm not good to say to come this. Quigaco Uganda does a swim which are worried. Go on with them. If you're not give way, that to me, Mura Luguang Murananga, we share Nurja Gaburgos. Clovis, and fashioned Quibuke Karengani, the Zazajan Mazurukunda would quite yam. Ruburum would it touch his amavoco. A hook or ruburum would it quite his mitima. Uganda Ruganda, Luzirama chap, I'm thankful to be here tonight. And yet, there is a bittersweet quality to these gatherings. While we are grateful for the light and warmth from the bonfire's flames, we are forever reminded of the darkness and the coldness that this fire was lit to remedy to. Dear youth, Banabachu, many of you are too young to recall the skepticism that weighed upon our backs when Rwandans made the defiant yet ever self-loving choice to revoke hate and embrace unity. For some to speak the truth on the atrocities that we have had to overcome is to rehash a past and confront an eternal reality that they either don't have the capacity or the willingness to absorb. And for others, denying our past altogether is a cowardly escape from guilt over their inaction, or worse, their part in keeping genocide ideology existent in the most sinister parts of our societies or abroad. This is a shame. But our united and harmonious country is a beaming new moon, and an old saying that perhaps you might have heard says that the moon does not care for hauling dogs. This country or outside of it, we only have one Rwanda, and this Rwanda belongs to us all. As the poet said, we are truly Rwandans. I hope that those battling trauma, sadness, or even the detractors, and every Rwandan in between can ask ourselves these enlightening questions. What other choice did we ever have? Who could condemn a government that replaced a discriminatory leadership with one of national unity? Who could condemn a government that employed restorative justice over revenge? One that repatriated its people used as a shield by a genocide, and one that abolished the death penalty and a quota system giving access to basic rights 
for all Rwandans. The list is not exhaustive. We must maintain unwavering faith in our choices to stay together, be accountable, and think big. Do we not deserve to mourn the 10,000 that were killed every day for 100 consecutive days in peace and dignity? We must reject any shame for defending our dignity. I wish for better Rwanda. I pray for better humanity. May we all be our sisters and brothers keepers for this Kwibuka 28. We are a home of an infinite form for the millions of pieces making up the whole of Rwanda's soul. We could never achieve a miracle by forming against that which we are. Never. And we are never attempting again. Despite our, story, despite our story bearing a lesson we wish we'd never learned, it does link us to rebirth. And so we remember on the memory of a before life in renewed armor of love and loosened awareness of who we truly are, Rwandans.